Sasuke Uchiha. I know you guys have been waiting for this video for a while. Um, I do I, I do sometimes, you know, videos about uh, certain television or anime characters that I, you know, perceive to be mid-tow, or maybe not even characters that are mid-tow, just characters who should have been mid-tow, you know, like my uh, Tony Soprano video. But this one, um, this one is about Sasuke Uchiha from Naruto, who I would consider, you know, a man going his own way. And, uh, you know, basically I'll just jump right into it, right? So, Sasuke is like the bad boy alpha male of the of the village in Naruto. They live in like a ninja village, right? And he is like the top student. He's like the number one ranked ninja. He's like just the strongest, you know, coolest guy. All the girls love him. But he has a bigger goal than, you know, being the most popular guy and being, uh, you know, having all the girls. His goal is to kill his brother uh, as revenge for his brother killing his entire family, pretty much, right? That's kind of like the short version of it. So he never gets concerned with the girls. He never gets concerned with being popular. He keeps to himself, even though he's the number one guy in the village. His teammate, Naruto, is jealous of him. Uh, the other, the, the girl on his team, Sakura, which is also the, uh, the character with the pink hair that I use in some of my thumbnails. Um, that girl with the pink hair is Sakura from Naruto, right? So she's his teammate and she's in love with him because he's like the top student and it's superficial. It's all superficial, right? She just likes that he's handsome and he's like an alpha male and he's the top ninja. So she likes him for superficial reasons, right? So anyway, as the show goes on, he, uh, he decides he wants to leave the village to get stronger under the tutelage of a bad character, right, named Orochimaru, who is the snake-looking character that I use in some of my thumbnails also, um, the guy that looks like a snake, right? So he realizes, look, this village isn't making me strong enough. I'm not reaching my full potential here. If I stay here, I'm going to become mediocre, and I'm going to fall behind, and I'm going to become a loser, and I'm never going to get to achieve my dream of killing my brother, right? <laughs> it's kind of a twisted dream, but, you know, on a bigger scale, it represents how men, we all have a dream, you know, even I have a dream. So, as he's, uh, He's, he's, he's spending time thinking about, you know, uh, should I leave the village? Should I not leave the village? He's, he's grown to like his friends. He's grown to like Naruto and Sakura a little bit. And he actually starts to develop, you know, a little bit of a connection with them. So he's, uh, he's like sitting there tied to a tree uh, because the, his, the teacher, Kakashi, ties him down to a tree because he gets in a fight with Naruto, right? So he ties him down to a tree, and he knows that Sasuke is thinking about, like, leaving the village. He can just tell, right? Kakashi can always tell. And um, he ties him down, and he leaves him there, and he, and he goes away. And as he's sitting there, Sasuke's sitting there tied to the tree, and he's thinking about, um, he's thinking about you know, whether I should stay in the village or... Uh, whether I should, you know, run away, right, and get stronger. And uh, as he's sitting there tied to a tree, some of, like, Orochimaru, the guy who he wants to run away with to get stronger, some of his henchmen confront Sasuke and basically beat the crap out of him and show him how weak and pathetic he is. And, uh, and it humiliates him. He realizes how weak he truly is and how being, staying in the village and being comfortable, you know, uh, made him so weak and he's not even close to achieving his goal right of becoming powerful and getting revenge so they they beat the crap out of him and then they tell him uh, as they're running away they tell him remember your purpose right and you he gets this look on his face like it's like i'll show i can't really show you how it happens if you watch the episode you know what i'm talking about like the screen freezes and you see it in his eyes he's like he's decided on revenge right so he's leaving the village and Sakura, his teammate, the pink-haired girl that's in love with him, confronts him. She stops him as he's leaving the village. And she's like, why are you leaving? And he's like, it's none of your business. And she's like, don't run away. Just stay here with me. I'll make you happy. I'll give you happiness, you know. I'll give you the family you never had. I can love you. You know, I can be good for you. And he's basically, like, not having it. He's not hearing it. He's like, no, I need to go get stronger, right? And, um... And yeah, so she's like, you know, I, I can give you all of that. And, and if you won't let me, uh, if you won't let me give you all of that here in the village, well, let me run away with you and I'll go fight with you. And he chooses not to let her come fight with him either because he knows she'll be nothing but dead weight and she'll be a burden and she'll slow him down. You know, he knows, he knows he, he can't take her with him. You know, she'll never, it'll never work, right? 
so um so basically like he ends up like knocking her out <laughs> and like put, leaving her on like a bench and then he like leaves the village right um but the point is and then he ends up getting stronger and he confronts his brother later on in the show and he gets the closure he needs right and you know a few years later he realizes uh you know getting revenge and all of that isn't the end goal you know at the end of the day he wants to be happy and be free and he actually ends up coming back to sakura and starting a family with her which shows that you always have the option of getting a woman later down the line right but so anyways, he, he, he goes out, he achieves his goals, he comes back, and he still has a family. He still gets everything he wants. And the moral of the story is that as men, we need to go out and chase our goals first, right? We need to handle our man business and know that we achieved what we want to achieve before we're ever going to be ready to, you know, uh, if we even want to have a family or a girlfriend or whatever. Because imagine if Sasuke didn't leave the village. Imagine if he always had that what if in the back of his mind. What if I had went and got stronger? You know, that would have destroyed him. That whole what if would have destroyed him. And that what if destroys a lot of married men, you know, a lot of men in relationships. They say, what if I did chase my dreams? What if I did become successful? And that what if is what makes men suffer in silence. You know, they say most men lead lives of quiet desperation. That's why. Because they never had the balls to go out and chase what they want. You see what I'm saying? And... Uh, this is what this is, you know, a small problem I have with a lot of midtown monks. Look, I respect you guys' decision to go monk. You know, I think that's very noble. But I don't think you should go monk until you learn how to get good with women, until you learn how to get laid a lot. You know, because not because getting laid is that great. It's really not. It's actually quite the contrary. It's so that you can see what a joke it really is, and you never have that itch. That you never have that what if in the back of your mind. You know, I'm really glad I went out and accomplished a lot of goals. Like, I went out and learned how to become a successful salesman. I went out and learned how to become a good fighter, you know. I went out and I learned how to get good with girls. All of these things don't really matter that much. But once you get good at them, you can put them to bed. And you'll never have that what if in the back of your mind, you know, eating your way at you. Because I got good with girls, I never, I never, uh get mad if I go a long time without getting laid, you know, because I know what a joke it is. But if you go month prematurely and you never really got good with women and you're just going month because you're sick of whatever, you, you're you always going to be suffering to a small degree, you know. So I'm all for guys going month if they have the discipline, but I think you should earn your stripes first and build the skills, you know, and then walk away from it. That way you never have this doubt in the back of your mind. And that's the that's the awesome thing about the character Sasuke uh, from Naruto. He goes out, he handles all his business, you know, he sees that it's not what it's cracked up to be, and then he comes back with peace of mind and becomes the man, you know, he needs to be. And he becomes more like his older brother, uh, Itachi uh, Uchiha from Naruto, who I'll do a separate video on him. That's ultimately what we want to become as men, right? The character Itachi is a much more level-headed a uh, wise character in Naruto. It's it's Sasuke's older brother, right? He is a much more well-rounded, big picture mentality, you know. And that's where you you wanna you wanna start off as Sasuke, and you wanna grow into Itachi from Naruto. For any of you guys who have seen the show, if you haven't seen the show, I apologize. This probably doesn't make much sense, but if you did, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, when you're young, you wanna go out and conquer and build your empire and chase your dreams and get it out of your system, so that when you're a little bit older, maybe if you do want to settle down you never have this what if you know in the back of your head that what if is worse than anything you know it's better to go out and try and fail than to have the what if in the back of your mind you know um making the wrong decision is better than indecision you know what i'm saying so whether you succeed or you fail at whatever you were trying to do at least you know you tried at least you have it out of your mind and you're never going to have that nagging doubt you know, imagine if Sasuke had uh, committed to Sakura and never left the village and just dated her and became mediocre. It would have ate away at him, you know, that he never did what he wanted to do. You know, uh, he never fulfilled his purpose. You know, and so many guys fall for that trap. So many guys who like get married young or get a girlfriend and never chase their dreams and get complacent. You know, I, I couldn't imagine living like that. I really couldn't. And like I said, it's not about, it's not because chasing your dreams is so great or getting laid is so great or becoming a successful businessman is so great it's because as men we have the desire to go out and achieve and once you achieve you see you feel good because you're like all right i did that and it's not all it's cracked up to be but i'm glad i know i have the potential 
to be that guy. You know, I'm glad I know I have what it takes. And now I can slow down a little bit. I feel like I've reached a certain level of manhood. And that's really, um, that's really important. You know, that's really important, at least for the sake of knowing you are capable. You know, it will forever uh, increase your view of yourself as a man. It will ever, it will forever increase your confidence. You know, when I learned how to get laid a lot, it forever increased my confidence because I'm like, okay, now I know I can do this. I know it's not that great. It was kind of hard to learn, but now I know that I can achieve that. You know, I can achieve that. I can achieve anything. And, uh, it's not, doesn't necessarily mean I want to get laid all the time. I, I, I'm very, you know, I'm very, uh, I have sex, you know, sparingly. I don't go out and try to get it too much. But now I know I'll never feel, you know, um, weak in that area or incomplete in that area. You know, as men, we need to feel like we've, uh, you know, conquered and we're not weak in the areas with, you know, we're not weak in any areas. We need to feel like we've, you know, uh, accomplished all our goals and then we can put them to bed and, you know, do whatever we want to do after that. Uh, but yeah, that's really, the, you know, the whole moral of the story, guys. <laughs>